Factsverse presents Hydrogen Peroxide Hacks You Wish You Knew Sooner We all know that hydrogen peroxide is a great way to clean up a cut to help prevent an infection. Yeah, it burns a little at first, but it is the best way to clean a wound. What you might not know is that there are many other uses for hydrogen peroxide that you probably don't know about. But once you see some of these uses, you're going to want to run out to the nearest store and stock up on hydrogen peroxide. Here are a few hacks you wish you'd probably known sooner. Stains on the carpet can be frustrating, and just one stain can make an entire room feel dirty. If you have stubborn stains on your carpets, hydrogen peroxide could help. You make your own carpet cleaner with just three ingredients – hydrogen peroxide, lemon essential oil, and water. Start by mixing two parts water with one part hydrogen peroxide. Next, add about five drops of lemon essential oil. When you make the cleaner, be sure to use a dark bottle like the one that the peroxide came in. After shaking up the mixture, pour it over the stain and allow it to sit for a minute or two. Using a brush, scrub the stain. If the stain is really set in, you might need to repeat this step a couple of times. It's not uncommon for wax to build up in your ears. When that happens, you don't want to dig in your ear with a Q-tip. I know, that's what you think those Q-tips are for, but it's still a bad idea. Any doctor is going to tell you that can be dangerous. It could puncture your eardrum. It also can push the earwax back further into the ear, making it impossible to get out. Hydrogen peroxide, though, is a great way to clean your ears safely. Put a few drops into your ear canal and allow it to fill with fluid. Sit still for about five minutes and then blot the outer ear with a tissue. It'll absorb any liquid that leaks out. You'll hear a really loud fizzing sound for a while, but after it finally dies down and you hear silence, then you know your ear is clean. If you're prone to ear infections or a lot of wax in your ears, ask your doctor about this idea. If you don't clean your makeup brushes properly, ladies, it can cause breakouts. Before you throw away those dirty brushes and spend money on new ones, maybe try washing the brushes first. It's a very simple and inexpensive way to clean your brushes. Just put a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide into a bowl of warm water. Allow your brushes to soak for about 10 minutes, then afterwards, rinse the brushes with cold water and let them finish drying overnight. In the morning, you should have perfectly clean makeup brushes. Yellow stains from your sweat on t-shirts can make them unwearable just for the look. You might think bleach will remove those stains, but hydrogen peroxide will probably work even better. To create a yellow stain remover, combine two parts of hydrogen peroxide with one part of Dawn dishwashing liquid. Allow the mixture to sit for about an hour. When it's ready, spray it onto the stain and scrub well. If the stains are really set in, add a bit of baking soda to the mixture before applying it to the stain. If you turn up the heat on your stove too high, it's not uncommon to accidentally burn the pan. If your cookware is covered with burned spots, it's almost impossible to use, but you don't have to throw it away yet. You don't even have to break out the steel wool or the scouring pads. Create a paste by combining baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Apply that paste to the burnt areas and let it sit for a few minutes. When you wash it away, just use a little bit of water. If it doesn't remove the burned areas easily, reapply the mixture again and allow it to sit a bit longer. There are some people who get dry, cracked heels no matter how much lotion they use on their feet. If you're one of those people, you don't have to spend a lot of money at a spa. You can create a remedy at home for just a few bucks. First, soak your feet in two cups of hydrogen peroxide and two cups of hot water. Allow your feet to soak for about 30 minutes. Afterwards, dry your feet and then scrub your heels using a pumice stone or a coarse foot file. When all the dead skin's gone, dry your feet with a towel, apply lotion, and put on a pair of fuzzy socks and wear those overnight. When you wake up in the morning, your heels will look and feel great. You don't have to pay the extra cost for organic fruits and vegetables. If you know how to wash your food properly, you can remove all of those harmful pesticides you're trying to avoid. Water won't remove all the pesticides, but food-grade peroxide will. Spray your fruits and vegetables and allow them to sit on the counter for a minute or two. Next, rinse the food. Finally, spray the fruits and vegetables with vinegar. The two agents working together will detoxify your food, making it safe for consumption, and it's a lot less expensive than buying organic. 
Bleach is an essential staple in just about any home. It's excellent for cleaning about anything from your floors to your appliances to your stained fabrics, and while bleach works excellent, it really smells bad. It's also not very good for the environment, and if you have sensitive skin, bleach could be very irritating. If you want to wash your clothes without the harsh smell of bleach, combine hydrogen peroxide with lemon juice and you can clean everything safely and it'll actually smell good. If you hate the harsh smell of supermarket bathroom cleaners, make some of your own. Not only will it not smell so strong, it'll still disinfect all your bathroom surfaces. Just mix equal parts water and hydrogen peroxide in a spray bottle. Spray it over the area that you want to clean and wipe it down you'll be amazed by how quickly this mixture removes dirt and grime. After wearing braces, most people have to wear a retainer for a few years. Keeping the retainer clean can be difficult, though, but you can make your own cleaning solution. All you need is a glass jar, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, peppermint essential oils, and water. Put the retainer into the jar and pour just enough water to cover it. Next, add one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide a sprinkle of baking soda, and one drop of peppermint essential oil. Stir it up and then allow the retainer to soak for at least 10 minutes. When you take it out, there will be no bacteria left on the retainer, and it'll smell minty fresh because of that peppermint essential oil. Canker sores can be painful, very unpleasant. To heal the pain a bit faster, mix some water with hydrogen peroxide. Swish that around in your mouth for 30 seconds and then spit. Rinse your mouth with plain water after that. Be sure not to swallow the peroxide. If you don't feel comfortable swishing it in your mouth, dab a cotton swab in hydrogen peroxide and then dab that onto the canker sore. Not only will the peroxide kill the bacteria in your mouth, it'll also help the sore heal faster. We all want a bright white smile, but well, over time our teeth can begin to turn yellow. Coffee, red wine, tobacco, it can all stay in your teeth and many of the whitening products on the market today either don't work or they cause damage to your tooth's enamel. If you want to whiten your teeth effectively and easily, soak your toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide and then brush your teeth for two minutes. If you do this a couple of times a week, you'll have that white smile that you've always dreamed of. Kind of like your teeth, your fingernails can turn yellow. That could be because of your diet, frequent use of nail polish, or just handling certain foods and spices. To gently and effectively clean your nails, simply soak a cotton ball with hydrogen peroxide and use that to clean your nails. After the first time you do this, you should see a very noticeable change. Have you always wanted lighter colored hair but you don't want to use hair products that are loaded with chemicals? Are you avoiding getting highlights because of the high cost that salons charge? If so, you can lighten your hair right at home using hydrogen peroxide. In a spray bottle, mix equal parts hydrogen peroxide and water. Spray the solution onto your hair and then comb it through. When your hair dries, you're done. If you're not happy with the results and you want to go a shade lighter, you can repeat the process. To give the hydrogen peroxide an extra boost, sit in the sun while it dries your hair. Do you know any other helpful hacks using hydrogen peroxide? Tell us about them in the comments and subscribe for more.